Yo, what's good, everyone? It's Levon, and welcome back. And I'm here to drop another gem on y'all today. Was that aggressive? That felt kind of aggressive to me, not gonna lie, but you know, I gotta switch it up every now and then. Keep y'all on your toes, okay? <laughs> um, well, since this video is already starting off on this note, let me just show y'all this chord I've been like messing around with. So it goes like, ah, uh, you ready? Brace yourself, brace your ears, prepare your mind to be blown. <laughs> How do y'all feel about that chord? I really like it. It's not something I would typically play, but I was messing around with this song um, that I heard on, on Instagram. And it wasn't this, it was like three, it was a trio singing the song. Um, not their song, just a cover. It was an acapella thing, and it was going like, uh, in my mind, I'm going to Carolina. I didn't really plan to do this video, uh, but the thought came to my mind about so story time real quick. Not real quick. It's it's gonna be the video. I was in McDonald's or Taco Bell, one of the two last week, and I step in, you know, step into the establishment, and there's a customer there, old old guy, older than me guy, and he's clearly frustrated, irritated. Probably his food's not coming out on time. Something along those lines. All I'm gathering is he's irritated and he's kind of berating the person that's working behind the counter, right? And her response is not direct, not really passive aggressive, but she's verbalizing her frustrations <laughs> loud enough for the man to hear. It kind of went something along the lines of, Man, I'm having the roughest day and like this stuff is out of my control and I'm just trying to like, I don't want to be here right now. I'm tired. You know what I'm saying? I really like directly dogging the guy, which me personally, if I was in that situation, all my words would have been directly at him. Like, I don't really, bro. You know what I'm saying? I feel like personally, I feel like here in America, you know what I'm saying? Where we have all these luxuries, there's no reason. I can't say no reason. Because that's kind of the point of this, this video. There is reasons behind um, setbacks in life or things that are just throwing us off. Like, But we shouldn't always take it so personally. But here in America, you have the luxury, you have the option to either request a refund or remove yourself from the establishment if you're not given the services that you require. So I don't understand, like, why do you ever feel the need to berate or you know i'm saying just verbally degrade anybody that's providing the service for you yeah i can understand the frustration though because i've been there too you know so i do kind of get it especially if you're just having a rough day and you want things to just work out a certain way and it's just not but like the way i see things now i'm just gonna request a refund if my food is taking too long or let me digress i'll get there Right, so this man, <laughs> this man is like just not having a good time with this lady, right? So I come in, I order my, if it was Taco Bell, it would have been like a 
I'm putting y'all on game right now, so you're welcome. It would have been a black bean quesarito, not quesarito, a black bean grilled cheese burrito, add jalapenos and creamy jalapeno sauce. That shit bangs every time. All right, you're welcome. Um, and if it was McDonald's, I was probably just getting fries because I don't, I don't eat meat from any of those places. That shit's just gross. Sometimes I'll get nuggets, but that shit's still gross. That's on a blue moon. Um, so I go in, I order my food. I clearly came in after this guy because that interaction's already going on. But I feel like there's a way to go about getting what you want without doing all that extra because I step in and um she's like not into their dispute or whatever but um after I get done making my order and another tangent side note for you guys <laughs> okay it's so bizarre to me and especially since uh corona you know what I'm saying how we can just go into a, an establishment and get services without even having to have face-to-face -face interactions without even talking to people like you just beep 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 oh i'm on my phone oh, i got my stuff now i'm in i'm out you know what i'm saying you don't even have to say hi or or even put cash in somebody's hand that's just so insane to me it's definitely these are definitely dystopian times we're living in right um but anyways i digress i think there's a way to go about getting what you want without being so extra so um i come in patient you know just smiling at the lady um and you know i guess my order pops up on the screen after i get done at the kiosk and she's like who who just ordered you know who ordered some fries in here and i'm like oh yeah i did you know what i'm saying just patiently waiting i was probably in there for about like three three four five minutes tops at the time right um She's like, oh, all right, you know, I'll get that out for you. I'm like, cool. So this man who's been sitting there waiting for his food <laughs> for a minute for a grippo who's giving her attitude, like, that, like that's going to make her want to speed up. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, what I've seen, and, and maybe, maybe this is just in my head, but since we have the ability to interpret how um, the happenings of the world, right, uh, I believe, I firmly believe my my demeanor when I walk into a place and the mindset I have is more likely to get me the outcome that I'm looking for, right? So just being patient, being understanding for the person because like she was saying, you know, it, it may not even be her fault why stuff's coming out shortly. I mean, why stuff is taking longer than you might want it to. You know what I'm saying? I feel like there's a reason behind everything. And for that man, he may have been having a a rough day maybe you know he had somebody pass um but you should <laughs> taking that out on other people isn't like that's not adding anything to the situation you know what i'm saying um just leave and just being polite to her like her energy towards me was completely different to that guy and I got my food, I was in and out, boom, just like that. Well, five minutes or less, right? Um, but imagine, like, if I would have went in there and had that same energy. I, I firmly believe that it would have taken longer. You know what I'm saying? What, what would she be in a rush to give me my food for if, if I'm giving her attitude? You know what I'm saying? Maybe one of their machines is down. Or <laughs> Not that that's necessarily an excuse, right? But... Clearly, she's trying to get you what it is that you're looking for. And and I know there are exceptions to the rule. Maybe, you know, people are slacking off on the back end, you know, just not on their shit. But if that's the case, then leave or ask for a refund. You have that luxury here, you know? Um, just putting more negativity out in, into the world, especially, at, you know, towards people that I'm probably just dealing with their own shit. It, it doesn't make sense to me. That's not adding any value. Um, but I walked away happy. I got my fries and, and dipped. But I've seen that I've seen that play out um, several times. I mean, I've even been on the end of the of the old man, not like yelling at anybody, but definitely uh, had my frustrations with uh, 
customer service workers. And I don't know. Like, I, I think there's just a way to go about it. And what I like to do, if my food is taking too long, then I'll just like, I'll literally stand at the counter, you know what I'm saying? Make some eye contact. I'll just be standing there patiently waiting because it's my right to. I'll just stand there and wait. Um, be like, you know, not at people. Let you know I'm here, I'm present. Yes, and I'm waiting for my food. And that's almost always worked, you know? Or even if you if you do patiently wait for five minutes or so, and then you just, hey, uh, can I just get a refund? They'll probably try to get your food out to you faster. You know what I'm saying? But that having that approach there's a way to go about things having that approach will is more beneficial to getting you what you want and you're not irritating anybody and you're well within your your you know what i'm saying your rights if you will um i don't know just i think moving with Positivity is always the best course of action because negativity just perpetuates more. Positive, the tea perpetuates more of that. And you know, when I did get my food, I was just like, hey, you know, I appreciate it. I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your day. She was like, yeah, I'll try to. I was like, well, or at least try. She was like, yeah, you know, that's all I can do. But I feel like even that interaction, um, her just seeing that everybody's not fucking on, on her ass <laughs> today you know what i'm saying that there are people that can be patient i feel like little stuff like that really does make a difference and i really am so very keen on being mindful of my my interactions and the energy that i bring to to other people you know what i'm saying we're all dealing with something man honestly Okay, I thought I was done, but furthermore, this is coming to me now, right? And let me get in the light. This is coming to me now, so there's there's a way to go about things. So balance. Y'all see me eat balance in my vlogs. It's a restaurant here that do amazing bowls, puts Chipotle in, I mean, whatever your favorite restaurant is to shame. Prices are great, the food is healthy, it's nourishing, it's delicious, right? <laughs> um that bowl that I ate the day i did my fast it was in my last vlog so go watch that and get caught up what are you doing here if you're not caught up uh, <laughs> i actually yeah i was saying at the end that i went back to tip the person that made that bow for me prior to this occasion right there was a time that I was in there it was probably during their lunch rush uh the people behind the counter they were busy with stuff which is fine i see that i'm a pp game i understand so i'm at the line, everybody that's working sees me at the line. There's nobody ahead of me. So I'm waiting at the register um, while, you know, they're in the back, you know, prepping their food. I wait for a solid five minutes. I always give it like a solid five minutes before I even say anything to anybody. But, you know, I can wait five minutes. It's not going to kill me. Um, so I waited five minutes. Nobody came over. So I'm like, uh, excuse me, could I get, you know, somebody to help me out over here, check me out? Um lady at the counter is like, all right, yeah, just give us one minute. Uh, so I'm like, okay, I go back to the, to the register and I wait a few more minutes. Nobody comes up, maybe a couple, maybe a couple more minutes. Um, nobody comes up. I feel like if I'm in your store for five, 10 minutes and I'm not even like helped, I understand you're busy, but that's a long time to be in somebody's store and not even like be addressed at all. Right. Um, so I wasn't fine with that. And I, I'm not about to pull that in my head. I'm like, well, y'all come here all the time. Y'all know my face, whatever. That's in my head, but it's not that deep. Some people will say that verbally. Um, I'm a I'm a freaking value loyal customer. I've received that when I was working at Home Depot too. That's so goofy to me. I'm like, yo, nobody cares how much you come here. You're just giving us your money. That's all we care about, right? <laughs> um, but I wasn't satisfied with the service I was receiving. So I just, I left. Um, and, you know, I've been there enough that the people are familiar with my face. They, you know, uh, so I just walked out. That was my first time just walking out the place and not buying anything. And <laughs> I hadn't gone back until that day I shot the vlog and I got that bowl and it was phenomenal. So I actually went back and I tipped the person I wanted to tip. Uh, and compensate whoever made that bowl for me because it was top tier and it was actually 
who comes out, the the owner of the restaurant, <laughs> who is just in there for the day working in the back, right? And um, I was like, yeah, could you give this to whoever, you know, made that bowl for me? Um, he was like, oh, yeah, I, you know, that was me. Uh, he was like, are you a first time customer? I'm like, nah, but this one was like, it was like probably the best bowl I've ever had here. And he was like, dang, you know, I hate to, I hate to hear that my employees aren't really up to, up to the standard that I would expect basically is what he said. But I was like, all right, well, you won't take my tip, but I appreciate it. Like you're doing a great job. And that's when I found out he was the owner or whatever. Um, so instead of berating and, and condoning the, the poor behavior, praising the good behavior, uh, had an effect because wow the the manager and you know he can go talk to the employees now i didn't have to dog anybody um and it wasn't even <laughs> an attempt to to make them look bad or anything um but the next time i came in like the service was so much <laughs> it was so much better it was actually the same lady uh that uh you know said she was gonna be up there in a minute who was helping me out and I just came in there because I needed uh, to write something down and didn't have a pen or paper. I was just right around the corner. That was another side quest that I was doing. But I came there, I was just waiting patiently. Um, and and she addressed that. She was like, oh, well, thank you for waiting so patiently. All you needed was like a pen and paper here. Yeah, yeah, take this, cool, cool. Um, but the next time I went in there after that, uh, my bowl service everything was phenomenal hey is there anything else we can do to help you you know what i'm saying just let us you know going above and beyond um i say that to say my previous point that was just another thought that came to mind you know what i'm saying um just move better y'all just move better okay that's all i had to share with y'all like just do better and try to be more understanding you know what I'm saying? And if you don't like and if you don't like how you're being treated, verbalize it. You can verbalize it. I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with that, but I'm taking it away from like fast food situations. If there's something you don't like, at least verbalize that and let the other person know like, "Hey, no, I don't appreciate what you're doing." But if it continues, if it persists, remove yourself in that relationship. Step away. You know what I'm saying? Take some time. That's, you don't have to tolerate anything that you don't want to tolerate. That's not that's not necessarily true, but <laughs> you get what I'm saying. <laughs> um, if you choose to sit there and just like continue being frustrated with the services you're being provided, that's that's on you. You should be mad at yourself, honestly, a little bit, a little bit. Um, anyways, y'all, take it easy. <laughs> And I'll see you on the next one. <laughs> Deuces.